All right, where's your mic? Where's your mic, man? For real? It's over the shoulder. Oh, okay, okay. George just got jokes, everybody. Yes, sir. Um, if you notice us, we're representing Temple. What up, Jesse? Um, UFC 161. God, these numbers are getting way up there, Shorty. Kind of mm -hmm. like me. That's why I was wearing the grandfather gloss glasses. Hold on a second. Tell me I don't look like Russell uh, Westbrook up in this motherfucker, shorty. Um, George put these Simmons. bad boys on, and he looked like John Hackleman. I tweeted that Hack. shit out. You guys should see it. Hack, if you're watching the show, uh, he looked just like you. He's like your little brother. Now, anyway, the first fight is a heavyweight fight between Bear Pat Berry and Sean George. I was just wondering the other day, when are we going to see Pat Berry fight again? Well, yeah. I guess next weekend. He's fighting, and I'm going to tell you what. He's fighting a guy that is just like him. That motherfucker throws bombs and bricks and cinder blocks and fucking everything else. And my money's on Pat Berry. And my money's on Pat Berry, too, because I just think Sean Jordan isn't proven enough. So I'm going to go with Pat Berry for the win, and he's going to redeem himself because I hated seeing him take that loss to Czech Congo because that shit was just annoying. Was that his last fight versus Chich? No, he actually redeemed himself before that. He had a fight. Uh, who did he fight? I can't remember. Anyway, moving on to the next fight. All it is right. a women's bantamweight fight, and it's going to be mm. Alexis Davis versus Rossi Sexton, Rosie Sexton. And... Uh, Alexis Davis has won two. Uh, has won her last two fights. She's on a roll. Um, she defeated Julie Ketsy, and her last bout, she revenged a loss to Shayna Baszler. I know George is saying, "Who the fuck are all these people?" And probably <laughs> yeah. so are you guys like this. Uh, Sh Shayna Baszler has actually picked to beat her, but uh, but uh, the girl this girl's fighting, uh, Sexton, she's on a three fight uh, win streak. Okay, um, and she's actually only had two losses in MMA. But Damn. guess what? Both of her losses. So they have two weight classes for women, right? Bantam weight and then whatever. Maybe underneath it. I don't think. I know they don't have anything heavier than that. So is Bantam the only weight? So I think Bantam's, Bantam's the only weight. That, this is the only weight class they have oh. in women's MNA until they expand the class. MNNA. So, MNNA. MN, MN, MN. But uh, so we're going to actually see another women's uh, event. Uh, at UFC 161. And, and, and if this is anything like the previous women's fights, this will probably be one of the top fights of the night. Because I probably imagine will these be the two potential. women will go for broke. Yeah, they're going to try to kill each other because the women are trying to prove themselves, man, in the UFC. Now, light heavyweight bouch features Ryan Jimmo against Igor Whatchamacallit. Why don't you say his name, man? <laughs> <laughs> go on and say that shit. Say that shit for a million dollars, son. You'll never get it right. Go ahead. Porajic. You might have got it right. Pro, pro something. I'm maybe Prophylactic? The, nah, man. You, mm -hmm. hey, I'm just saying. You should have been a long time ago. Why are you joining on me? I'm man? not. Ryan what Jimmo's was, no, going. No, no. What just was, say the no, no. What was your name. What was your new motto? Huh? What was your new motto? Put on the latex or give up the paychecks. See, I think Kevin um, should have to go give speeches at all of the incoming uh, rookies <laughs> in all pro sports and explain to the young men, <laughs> strap up or get ready to pay out. Yeah. Um, Ryan Jimmo, if you recall, Almost finished James Tahuna. Mm -hmm. Almost is what the key word. Last, last and that shit does James not Tahuna, what, hmm? Last time we saw James Tahuna fight, what he happened to him? He was not doing too good. Nay, nay. No. And so this guy looked good when he first came out against James Tahuna, but he just could not get it done. He couldn't finish him. He just didn't polish him off, and he ended up taking the L. So I guess he's going into this fight hoping to redeem himself um, against Igor. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. That mm -hmm. just you're just proving that we're not real MMA enthusiasts and fans, right? Because okay? it's pro. It's and you know P -O -K -R -A -J -A -C. what? I like that. K R A J A C. Just so, guys, it's just a bunch of vowels and consonants. All right, like so everyone's name. It, Imagine right? that. None of you all of your names are made up either. of vowels and consonants. Now, guys, we're talking about we're, well, George and I were talking before we turned on the camera today, and we're thinking, you know what? And I'm going to say this through every fight. Why don't you guys start doing video responses? Okay. Get down there, open up your computer, and do a video response and talk about these fights, man. Yeah, please talk about do it. Do a Save, video call response us so I can hit no. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Do Put, all the video responses you want. No. I want to see. No, I want to hear no. what everybody else has I to say. I don't. I want to see video responses. No, if y'all want to make video responses, get your own channel, make your own damn show. George's Try boy. that shit out for once. And It'll then be y'all can talk shit. <laughs> because the rest of the motherfuckers that troll us can then go troll you, and then you can come cry to us. We can actually troll talks. all the video responses. I would love it. That's why I'm saying hey, do it. Great It'll idea. Be fun. Make video response. Video response. I'm going to kill y'all. Let's see who's brave out there to make video responses. Ain't one of them and you know what? It. We're not going to hate on you, motherfucker. Oh, we I just am. want to. George will. I won't. I just want to see video responses. Anyway, 
Want to go into the next fight? No. Next fight. Talk about video responses. Is a heavyweight belt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Versus Bob, Bob's big boy versus Stepan Mikak. Yes, that would be Roy Nelson, who is actually one of my favorite fighters in yes, the UFC. Same here. I love, I love Roy Nelson. I um, tell you what, Dana White hates fight. that dude. Yeah, well, I tell you what, he comes to fight. He puts on the show, and mm-hmm. he is going to be fighting Stepi Miocic. I think I think how this ends is Roy Nelson's going to climb the cage and rub his belly because he's going to knock this cat out. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Stipe Miocic has some hands. He can throw some bricks. Mm-hmm. You know, but I think... So can Chech Congo. And then that motherfucker yeah, stepped right it didn't into work Roy out Nelson's too good right for, hand. It didn't work out too good for Chech Congo. Because Roy I, Nelson's crafty. He is, would say. he is crafty. He's crafty. Like the Beastie Boys back in fucking late 80s short. He's crafty. He's crafty. You remember that song? Back in when? It's probably playing in the background when I edit this shit. Oh, okay. Just to fucking familiarize your shit with the, beast, the, ten- you, the Beastie you, Boys. I know who the Beastie Boys are. My first, You never my remember first, the song, She's Crafty? My my only experience growing up with the Beastie Boys, you have the right to party. Oh, yeah. Fight for your right song, to party. Yeah. That was it. That shit was the, That was, was one of the first music the videos I ever saw because I'm um, a young man, not. How do you think Roy Nelson will beat him? Since with his right Roy hand, Nelson. I already picked it. Okay, I, I, I think Roy Nelson is going to win, but I think he might stay away from it. Actually, he might try to take him to the ground. Because I think Roy Nelson, I mean, he is a very well rounded fighter. And with one thing, he just. Oh, I mean, he is well rounded. Yes, he, is, he has a very well rounded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he can. His ground game is nasty. He might not take a chance to throw. When's the last slug. time he used his ground game to win a fight? I don't know. He hasn't really used it in a long time. Right. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> but I think Roy Nelson is gonna probably utilize he's it this gonna, time. He's gonna take his ground game, dust it off, pull it out of the closet, use it this time. Fucking George, man. Because here's fucking the thing. George. I mean, I don't know about. Hey guys, most... make a video response, Jonan on fucking George. Okay, well, how about I, I, that? Jonan on me how? Because I'm uh, pointing out how this dude wins his fights. Okay. I don't know if any of you, uh, any of you other people out there, notice. Other people. There are very few MMA MMA fighters who adjust Pre-tron, and brother, change Pre-tron. their game. Right. So to be honest, it doesn't get too hard to pick these after a while because these fighters do the same shit. It every is true. single fight. And that's why we want to see you guys' video response to see what you guys think about the Roy Nelson. Now, with, with, with that said, mm-hmm. that means Roy Nelson's going to win this with a ground game because I think he's going to use his hands. So he's going to go out and do it with the ground game just to make me look like a jackass so all <laughs> you donkeys can tell me how much of a jackass I look like. <laughs> and please put it on the video response board. I love it. Anyway, now, on to the fight that everybody's been waiting for. According to the UFC, it is. Okay. Uh... This is a light heavyweight battle between Rashad Sugar Evans and Dan Henderson. H-bomb. Old man. Yeah, I failed the drug test. But uh, uh, anyway. Uh, Don't worry. He'll be in the Hall of Fame. Um, this fight, you know, well, my- both of these guys are coming off of losses. But before we talk about the fight, and you brought this up, George, and I like Dan Henderson. You know, I, I'm a fan of Dan Henderson. Not as much as Jimmy. Everybody's like, where's Jimmy? He's, I tell where's you, Jimmy he's in fight? the Everglades looking for Sasquatch. He is? Yeah. I knew he was doing it. Didn't he have a special Discovery Channel coming up this yeah. week? Yeah. That's he, he's, he's cohorts Bear Grylls. He taught Bear Grylls everything Bear knows. Y'all know that shit, did you? Jimmy's, anyway, Jimmy's um, an adventure survivalist. Yeah. He lives all off that the earth. shit. Next week is going to be up in fucking Washington Mountains near Chael Sonnen's house hunting for Bigfoot. He's going to be hunting for Chael Sonnen. Yeah. Anyway, um, Dan Henderson has been, at least you brought to my attention, it's like, I, I deserve a shot with John Jones. This is what I don't understand, Dan. He's, is, he's has says, he been hanging out with Chael Sonnen too much? He says John Jones owes him a title fight. How does like John it? Jones owe him shit? Maybe mm-hmm. a milkshake or something. But Dan Henderson didn't win his last fight, okay? And now all of a sudden, is I think Chell Sonnen just set the bar for, I'm just going to talk my way into a fight that I don't deserve. Because, I mean, I like Dan Henderson. He's a Hall of Fame guy. He is beating some of the legends in MMA. But if you lose your last fight, you 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 know you you lose it and there's all kinds of other people in line that are probably more formidable opponents how does that light heavyweight champion owe you a shot because when you didn't show up because you got he, hurt he got so, hurt his knee got hurt or whatever and that's how Chael P. Sonnen got to step in but the thing that I I just I don't understand like Dan Henderson versus John Jones if we could rewind Henderson's career 10 rewind years shit, son, with rewind having it. John Jones sit still because if we back John Jones up 10 years he's just now getting his license what's the guy 25 26 yeah something like so, that so I don't want to see John Jones fight Dan Henderson. I don't. Right. Why, why? We've seen him beat up all the old what guys. What the fuck was two, that noise, man? Five class. Was that your phone? Yeah, man. That's just crazy. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So, so I, I don't. But anyway, supposedly this is a must win for both these fighters. Rashad Evans has lost two in a row and looked utterly disinterested in the ring. Um, I mean, this is another thing, too. I got to ask you guys, and, and you guys can respond via, via video response. We're trying to push everybody to start doing video responses. But uh, 
What's next for Rashad Evans if he loses his fight? Because that'll be three in a row. I, you got to make the move to middleweight to retire, just get out of the class. I mean, well, this what's is also left the for guy, you in a light This is also the guy who said he can beat Anderson Silva. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be interested to see where Rashad Evans comes in weight. If he comes in under 205 in that 195 to 196 range, if he comes in mm -hmm. 10 pounds under, or and it looks like he's making a legitimate push to 185, yeah. which I seriously doubt. I don't think he will. Right. I think he's going to be right at 205. I don't... I, you know who I would love to see fight? I would love to see Rashad Evans fight Chell Sonnen. You know what I'd like to see Rashad Evans do? Join Rampage Jackson and uh, King Mo over in Bellator, Bellator slash TNA. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. that's what Rampage did. But he we'll get to that it. later. Yeah. Now, anyway, guys, let us know what your thoughts. I was going to say. Who you got winning? How are yes. they going to win? Hey, and as Kevin said, make a video response. Make a video response, man. Get, get fucking jiggy with it and shit, right? Get jiggy with it? I don't it? know, man. I pulled the Will Smith shit out of my hat.